What is your favorite, very creepy fact? Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. A human corpse decomposes 4 times faster in water than in the ground. And 8 times faster in open air than in the ground. Cotter's delusion is a rare psychiatric condition. Severe cases of which cause the sufferer to wholeheartedly believe they are dead, putrefying, or simply do not exist. Some Cotter's patients refuse to eat, as they do not believe they need to. With one notable patient dying of starvation, another woman once asked to be taken to a morgue, to be with the other dead people. When a person is electrocuted in the electric chair, they feel everything. They are fully aware of their bodies being fried as it happens in real time. One inmate who survived the first round of electrocution said it tasted like cold peanut butter. There is a rare genetic disease called fatal familial insomnia where over the course of months you literally cannot go or be put to sleep no matter what you take or what you do. The symptoms get progressively worse until finally you stay awake watching yourself go insane until you die from exhaustion. In 1844, there was a case of hysteria in a French convent of nuns. One started meowing and after a week all the nuns were meowing harmoniously in the afternoons. It didn't stop until neighbors called soldiers. The bodies of the sailors who died on the Edmund Fitzgerald are still down there, almost perfectly preserved. Due to the water at that depth being just barely above freezing, divers who have explored the wreckage have seen their bodies frozen in place to parts of the ship and have come back reporting that they feel as if they were being followed during their time underwater. Photos were taken, but per the request of the crew's family, they have never been released to the public. Edit. Source. The children's story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin was based on a real event. Hamelin Town records start with this event. The earliest written record is from the Town Chronicles in an entry from 1384 which states, It is 100 years since our children left. No one know what or who took the children. But there's records of the entire town's children being taken. It's estimated that there is around 25-50 active serial killers in the US. The human brain continues to give off electrical signals for 20 to 40 seconds after death. After getting stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no antivenin and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. Your insides are constantly moving around and stuff. I hate this. But it's my favorite for that reason. It takes approximately 359 humans to have enough iron to forge a sword from their blood. About 3000 people disappear every year in the US and are never found again. If the heat death of the universe turns out to be correct trillions of trillions of years from now, rather than a big crunch, then it will reach a point of absolute entropy in time as we understand it will have no meaning. On a long enough timeline, once stars stop forming because gas and dust particles become too rare scattered to form a sufficient mass to produce fusion, the existing stars will slowly, gradually, exit their main sequence and become red hypergiants, then collapse to dwarf stars. Eventually even the dwarfs, the faintest light in the universe will blink out, their matter consumed by black holes. Many trillions of years of Hawking radiation will bleed away even the black holes until everything reaches a state of unending changelessness. No physical processes will exist to mark the difference between one moment to the next. No biological or chemical reactions. No atoms and no movement and no light. Time as a linear concept will not exist because nothing will exist that could justify the presence or effects of time. Edit thanks for this great response. Multiple people have recommended this YouTube video by Melody Sheep, so I'm including it. Additionally recommended in the comments was this short story by Isaac Asimov. Vladi Impaler was called that because he killed his enemies by placing them ass first on pointed poles that would slowly skewer them to death. When you happen to be murdered there is only an about 40% chance that your murderer will be found and punished. Scafism. The worst way of execution I've ever heard of. 
The word comes from Greek which stands for hollowed out. The victim is trapped between two boats, fed and covered with milk and honey, which then attracts all kinds of insects and vermin that fester and devours you over a couple of days. When your organs are taken out of your body for abdominal surgery, they don't get placed back in carefully or specifically. You just put all the organs back in and the body sorts itself out. On top of that, some people are born with a condition called situs inversus, in which all their organs are a mirror image of what is normal. Having this automatically disqualifies you from being in the military. Edit. The military disqualification very well might have been either a lie, or a miscommunicated or outdated fact by my EMT instructor who was in the army decades ago. He was would also tell us little known laws he knew from his police days. Some of which sometimes turned out to have changed since his retirement. That's my bad for not confirming with the almighty Google before posting. The armpit is where all your important nerves in your arm so if you stab it you can't really use your arm. Edit. Thank you all for the karma. Dogs like squeaky toys because it sounds like a small animal being crushed. Foreskin is used to grow skin for those that need skin transplants. That you smell better when you're asleep. The last use of a guillotine in France was the same year the first Star Wars movie premiered, 1977. Somewhat recently, 2012, scientists discovered over 1,400 new species of bacteria living in the belly button. Everyone's belly button ecology is unique. Add it to the fingerprints and snowflakes list. In that same study, one volunteer's belly button harbored bacteria strands that had only ever been found in soil from Japan where this man has never been. While most parents do what they can to prevent or stop their babies from crying, that's not always the case in Japan. That's because it's a 400 year old Japanese tradition that if a sumo wrestler can make your baby cry, it means he or she will live a healthy life. During a special ceremony, Parents hand over their infants to sumo wrestlers who bounce their precious tots up and down and sometimes even roar in their little faces to get the tears flowing. He's not a baby that cries much, but today he cried a lot for us and we are very happy about it. Mother Meishai said at a 2014 event. Anglerfish. When anglerfish mates the male literally deforms its body and fuses with the female then they live together for the rest of their lives. Six fingers on one hand is actually a dominant tray. Edit. This blew up and ripped my inbox. I saw a news story on a woman with a rare type of epilepsy that causes her to see everything like a slitter shower or a video game that gets 10 FPS. She described watching cars drive by and saying they freeze in place for a moment and then snap into position further down the road over and over. Her entire life is played out in front of her eyes in still frames and because of that she wears blinders or earmuffs because her senses are constantly contradicting one another and it overwhelms her. I can't imagine how horrifying it would be to experience life like she does. You have a bunch of microscopic parasites called emodex on your eyelashes and in the pores on your face. They come out at night to lay eggs on and eat the oils on your face. Postpartum depression psychosis can show up in a new mother virtually overnight. It can make them hallucinate or go into psychosis, making them think their baby is a demon or the antichrist for example. New mothers kill their own children because of postpartum depression psychosis more often than you might like to think. The more the mother knows it's a possibility the better she'll be able to combat it if it arrives. Edit. Postpartum depression is also a thing and is also a serious issue, but does not cause hallucinations and delusions. That is specifically related to postpartum psychosis so I have edited my comments to reflect this. My mistake. Tarantulas can swim. The island of Okinoshima in the inland sea of Japan is known for two reputable things. One, it's named Rabbit Island because of the overabundance of wild rabbit sand. Two, the island has World War II ruins of a chemical weapons factory, creating poison like mustard gas in its attacks on China. So vital was its secrecy to the Japanese government that they tried to wipe its location off maps. You could be killed instantly by a brain hemorrhagineurism and have no warning signs prior. One second you're perfectly fine, and the next you're dead. A rat king is a phenomenon created when a large group of rats become fused together by their tails via ice. 
dirt, hair, blood, or even fesses. Encounters with this horrible phenomenon inspired some of humanity's greatest myths. The US is still missing at least 6 nuclear bombs somewhere on the continent from broken arrow incidents. Squeezing someone's balls very tightly can have roughly the same effect as using an epinephrine pen. Don't try this please it will be very painful. Chainsaws were originally invented for childbirth. We're low filming the movie Oside Exorcist. Many actors got injured. The set burned down. A priest was brought in several other times to bless the set. And the actor who played Burke, Jack McGowan, died off influenza. Just so you guys know, The Exorcist, a supernatural horror film directed by William Friedkin, was based on the 1971 novel of the same name by William Peter Blatty, which was in turn inspired by the exorcism case of Roland Doe, a acute pseudonym given to the victim by the Catholic Church, of 1973 film portrays the demonic possession of a 12-year-old girl. The story revolves around how the mother of the child attempts to seek normalcy in her daughter's life with the help of two priests who conduct exorcism. From its onset, the film went through troubled waters. Prestigious directors not only turned down the film, but ominous events surrounded the year-long shoot. Ah, nearly nine people died who were associated with the production of the film and a mysterious fire destroyed the set one weekend. People started to believe that the project itself were a cursed priest was brought in several times on the set to bless the film, its actors and the project. However, as if all the tragedies during the filmmaking process were not enough, that just after the work was wrapped up, the actor who played Burke in the film died of influenza. The fulmer is a bird that defensively spits an orange oily substance at attackers. When the attacker tries to go to wash the oil off its wings, it often drowns because it is no longer buoyant. Also that stomach oil is a nutrient rich food source. So feel free to make a form of spit it in your mouth. If given access to it, butterflies will happily drink blood. When CNN first signed on in 1980 they recorded a band playing a hymn that they were meant to play at the end of the world it was hidden from the public for 35 years. Big companies like Target know and record when you're cheating on your so. During the Victorian era. It was not uncommon for families to take pictures with recently deceased relatives. This was done as one final moment with that person to honor them. The average human will shed about 40 pounds of skin throughout their lifetime. Indian followers of the Zoroasterianism don't bury or burn their dead. Instead they leave the bodies in special towers, exposed to the elements to be eaten by vultures. Unfortunately the vultures are now endangered leaving the bodies to slowly rot. Feeding a human body to pigs will cause them to eat everything except the teeth. In the average person's life, they will walk past at least 10 murderers in their lifetime and walk past at least 56 offenders. That includes rapists and child predators dunno if I worded all of this right. The average number of hands per person is less than 2. Only 9% of the ocean has been explored. And that there are creatures that we would think of as aliens living deep. Deep down. Patients undergoing colonoscopies are most commonly put under conscious sedation. Meaning the anesthetic doesn't actually numb pain. Or even send you unconscious. They just impair your ability to form memories. You are awake and aware of the pain. You just don't remember. There was a man from France. Named Terra. 1772-1798. Who couldn't stop eating? By the time he was 17, his parents kicked him out. He was eating his own body weight and food daily at the time. When he enlisted in the arm, the army rations just couldn't satisfy him. Often, he would sneak out at night and search for offal in the garbage in the gutters. He was hospitalized. Doctors trying to find a cure but, at night he would raid the morgue. Scientists unable to stop his ability to eat almost anything began to study it. They'd feed him such random things as eels, he'd swallow whole, lizards, a kitten and puppies, all of which, he ate alive. When a 14 month old baby disappeared, he was chased from the hospital by an angry mob. He later died of tuberculosis. Your eye has approximately the same proteins as an egg white, and both react similarly to hydrochloric acid. 
which solidifies the usually liquid substances. Patchouli was used to cover up the smell of decaying flesh during the Black Plague. The sun will burn out at some point and unless we as a species escape this solar system, everything we have ever done or will do will be instantly erased and forgotten. Edit. Lots of interesting responses to this. I just love that it's inspiring a fun conversation. You can fit 63 Earth size objects in Uranus. The thighs contain the most calories. People say it's creepy that I own now this. But the age of consent is regulated at a state level and it's closer to 15 than 18 in most places. 15 with parental consent. Which itself is creepy. The average human can drink about a pint of blood before it will cause you to vomit. You need two hands to hold a head because the weight of a head is unevenly distributed. Your eyeballs flatten when you die, leaving your corpse seeming to have no eyeballs. Tastiest part of human body is cheeks. Facial 1. Ted Bundy. Serial killer used to work for a suicidal hotline. The Panama paper posted a very detailed document about how the rich are part of an enormous crime ring. And all that came of it was the journalist was murdered. When you fart, your butthole forms the same shape as your lips when you say poop. Anesthesia awareness exists. Being conscious during surgery is an actual experience people have. The Roman Empire lasted over 1000 years. American society is only 243 years old. We could quite possibly collapse just like the Roman Empire did. Botflies. The very fact that they exist is more than creepy. See, these little bastards are parasitic. By that I mean they bite an animal or human to inflict an open wound and proceed to inject their eggs into the wound. The larvae that hatch feed on the host, while the host is alive, until they mature enough to fly and continue the circle. Oh, and there's usually multiple larvae at a time that leave craters in the host's body. Here's some info. Mathematically, it is possible that somewhere scattered around the universe, exists a number of living beings that resemble you but with slight differences. Technically they are not copies, but if one of these beings were to take your place, nobody would notice. It is physically impossible to prove that the universe, everything that exists in reality, wasn't just poofed into existence 10 seconds ago. Every 30 minutes apparently, your body creates a new cancer cell. However, your immune system is usually good enough to catch this cell and kill it before it spreads. Which means in the next 30 minutes or so, your immune system may slip up, and you will get cancer. There's a type of bee that makes honey out of blood from dead carcasses. That literally anything you smell, there's tiny microscopic particles of it in your nose. If you hang someone upside down they'll still be conscious when losing a lot of blood. There is a island of the dolls in Mexico City that has thousands of creepy dolls to honor a little girl who drowned in the 1950s. The island is also one of the most haunted places. Scientists still don't know what purpose sleep has for our physical health. However, if you are deprived of it, within a few days you start to hallucinate, and your organs start to shut down. In under two weeks, it can be deadly. It's completely essential for survival. We spend a third of our lives doing it, and no one really knows why. You're not afraid of being alone in the dark, you're just afraid of not being alone in the dark. Because they aren't as tasty as baby hens. Baby roosters are typically tossed into the grinder as soon as they are born. There was once a surgery done with a 300% mortals rate. The RMS Titanic sister ship, the HMHS Britannic hit a mine and sank. The captain decided to hold the lowering of the lifeboats and try to beach the ship on nearby Key Island. He eventually ordered for the lifeboats to be lowered and stop the ship's engines. However before the order was given a couple of lifeboats were launched while the ship was still moving. Some of these lifeboats on the port side moved towards the propellers and what resulted was a bit of a blender situation ultimately killing 30 people. This is a very basic description of what happened so I'm sorry if any of this is wrong. The US has never made a purple heart since the 40s because they mass produced them in case of a ground invasion of Japan. 
If you stare at the mirror in the dark long enough, your brain starts to make your eyes see things, usually transforming you or the room into something horrifying more usually monsters. This is called peripheral fading or the Troxler effect. When a person dies, their sense of hearing is the last to go. The ratio of blood to mass in a human body peaks before we are 8. A 6 year old has as much blood in their body as an adult. Edit. My job is weird. Scientists who study cockroaches usually develop an allergy to them. At the same time they develop an allergy to pre-ground coffee. This is less a fact and more just logic. But, any horrible embarrassing weird unlikely death you can imagine potentially befalling a person has almost certainly happened to at least one person. And there were probably a ton of people whose last thoughts were, this is how I die, you've got to be kidding. Not I fact I know, but there was once this couple who tried experimenting with digital devices. They would talk about dog food for a couple minutes at a time, and even though they didn't have a dog, they began getting tons of ads for dog supplies. Similar things have to my family. It could simply be confirmation bias. But it could be something else. This couple went on a walk in the woods at night and stepped on something weird. Kinda like skin. They heard a rustle in the bushes and left. A couple years later. They're watching the arrest of Ted Bundy and confessions. He said the time he got closest to getting caught is right after he murdered somebody in the woods when a couple stepped on the body. Edit. Spelling. The term saved by the bell has nothing to do with school and everything to do with the fact that people would often bury unconscious people. Thinking they were dead. They started to tie bells on their wrists and ankles so the groundskeeper at the cemetery would hear if someone had come back to life. That poking around with vacuum energy at the subatomic scale could knock the current state of equilibrium down to a lower energy different equilibrium. Thus creating a bubble of space-time operating under different laws of physics expanding at the speed of light effectively deleting the universe we know as it passes. Sleep paralysis. Sorry if it doesn't fit this question exactly. But the fact that someone can experience sleep paralysis and be completely aware of their surroundings and not be able to do anything about it, and be terrified, is super creepy to me. Abraham Lincoln's personal guard went out for a drink a few hours before his assassination. He met a man there that was extremely jittery the man was famed actor John Wilkes Booth. Eyewitnesses said the booth was tense and wasn't sure he could do it. Nobody knew what he was going to do but because he was such a famous actor people helped him to calm his nerves. The personal guard and Booth had a few drinks together and soon left for the theater. Later that same night Booth assassinated Abraham Lincoln while the personal guard was there on duty. Cerebrospinal fluid tastes like banana and rust. When you get to sunburn, your cells are dying to prevent becoming tumorous. Epstein didn't kill himself. 